Welcome to my next video. My name is Angela with Freedom Mobile Living, and I really appreciate you tuned in today. Friday, I'm getting all ready for Friday because we're gonna, I'm going to do a live stream and an onboarding session. For anybody who wants to tune in, they can ask questions, they can make comments, however they want to do it. We can have a full discussion how to bring our business, if you're Uber or Lyft driver, or if you're not even driving at all, how to start out driving and starting to build your own platform where you can have your own riders and you can make 100% of your fares and tips. That's what we're going to do in this video and I'm getting prepared for it. All week I have been taking ride, local rides. I've been doing a lot of different, I've been testing the site. I've been kind of testing pricing because I want to stay competitive with what's out there with Uber and Lyft. So I'm really checking out our pricing and the satisfaction of the customers, uh, meaning how quick do we respond when they request for a ride or when they schedule, are we on time? So those are the things I'm looking at. I'm looking at the functionality of the app to make sure that when a customer asks for a ride that there's a driver out there in order to get it so they be alerted so they at least have an opportunity to say yes to the program and take the ride or not. So one thing nice about the Ride Local is that even if you're not online, let's say you're not driving whatsoever, the nice thing about it is that you literally will still get requests especially if you turn toggle it on on your app to that you're getting the request offline you will get those requests if you choose to take them they're scheduled at a particular time and date if you choose to take them they'll go right on your platform and then it'll alert you uh as you get to that ride or that date or that time so you still can build your platform uh, with rides that come through when you're off of the offline and that way you can add to it to to the rides that you're doing now a lot of people probably have a question right now is okay how can I get a rider well a lot of times is word of mouth so letting people know that there's a cheaper ride out there letting people know that they can take and it's reliable so a lot of times what I do is from the people I are I have like a three-foot rule I get three foot in front of somebody I'm gonna tell them about what I do so that's exactly what I do with the ride logo right now I'm in the process of ordering some cards and that way all I have to do is give a card to a passenger after, before they leave uh, the other thing I do is I place them out throughout the business area like in bars uh, which are very needed and I also do hotels and motels and I do uh, treatment facilities and I do doctor's offices especially in those doctor's offices where you know that they do surgery or they do outpatient surgery because everybody needs a ride. So that will uh, give you maybe an opportunity when there's a need that's a mere emergency that you'll be alerted and get that ride. So to tie that customer into you, now you can do it in different forms. So that's really what I'm checking out right now. I'm doing a lot of these things in order to build the base but then the same token to get awareness and exposure because exposure is very important. They say a customer literally has to see you 10 times before they respond. Well, if I can get them to see it uh, in different forms, I can get them to see it by maybe making a post or maybe handing out a, a flyer. One thing nice about Ride Local, we have QR codes that go for everything. They go from the rider and the driver after the driver fills out a form but if you're a driver first thing you have to do is get on a website go to the driver page and it's become a driver page and hit down there there's a little form to fill out and why we ask you to do that is because it streamlines the business once we get that and if the the platform is open in that particular city we're going to go ahead and run that background check and get that back as soon as possible the biggest thing we want you to do is be able to touch hands and touch face to face with you after the background check comes back. Sometimes I've seen it come back within the same day or three days and sometimes I've seen it take as long as five days. So depending on the individual, depending on the background check and how backlogged they are, uh, but we run all our back through background checks through Checker, just to let you know. Uh, so it's a very reliable source. 
everybody else, majority of the people do it, uh, businesses do it, including Uber and Lyft. They do the same thing with a background check. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to streamline it. It ain't no sense of, you know, reinventing the wheel. Let's go ahead and get on the wheel that's already there and utilize it. And that's really what we're trying to do. But just remember, you got to think out of the box when you become a driver. It's not just picking people up. It is in some cases, but in a lot of cases, it's developing developing a relationship with that individual rider, and that way they can use some of the other services we might offer. You might want to offer delivery. You might want to offer dog transport or kids, picking them up from school back and forth. That really helps out, and there's a good big market for that. So start thinking out of the box and how you can do it. Where well, I'm getting excited about Friday, I really am. I'm looking forward to plug into a lot of people that are interested and just sick and tired of being sick and tired and interested in building not only the platform for themselves, but also their lives. And literally, uh, I can tell you right this, I've done it many times where I went into a city, started the platform, and started building it. And within a week or two, I started to have almost a full-time build So, with riders. So I know it can be done because I've done it several times. So the, basically, the secret of it is to get people that use ride, share, frequently. And I, a lot of times I look for customers that maybe go to dialysis every week. People have doctor's appointment a little bit more often, the old elderly. Uh, a lot of times I'll look for people who uh, just had an emergency situation. They need something picked up or an errand run. I do those as well. So I've been doing airport rides are very lucrative. The only problem with it, you have everybody else who's trying to go into that game as well. But it's possible to get it, but I like to get it either through something like a Hertz Rent-A-Car because sometimes they'll drop off the car and they need a ride. Uh, I'll do it in with the hotels or the motels, like I said earlier. Also the concierge um, within the whole airport as well. And so a lot of times I will, uh, depending on what type of value I want, but I have even given out a free ride up to an X amount of dollar amount uh, for them to try out the platform. Here's how I look at it. If I get a rider and I give them a free ride, right? After that, it's all paying. After that, I developed. One thing you give, to, if you give anything to people, they feel like they have to return it back to you. So it's very lucrative to build your platform instead of sp sending, spending uh, sales dollars, advertising dollars. What you can do is you can sell them within the realm. So if I give somebody, I'll give an example. If I gave somebody a $5 coupon for a ride and an invite code, I gonna get that back and how I'm gonna get that back because I'm gonna put into it but I get the sale after I've spent the money so uh, generally people will go farther than the five dollars and so let's say their fare is 20 or let's say it's 15 you still make some profit and yet you gain a client and when you get that client now what you can do is you can give them the five for five where they can invite somebody use their invite code that you give them they can invite somebody and whoever they invite gets $5 off and then they get $5 off. Now, one thing nice about it, you don't have to redeem it right then if you don't choose not to. You can uh, accumulate it over time and then redeem them or use them however you want to do it. Uh, but I've had people in the past, I've had people that have, uh, you know, built up $120, went in and took their wife out to dinner and whatever they did with it which was nice and one guy said he could never do that if it wasn't for that referral so we're looking for referrals how we build it will be based on you and all our drivers so the input is very important to make sure we get input from drivers because really you guys are in the trenches and tell you a little bit about my background i was in the trenches or i have been in the trenches you know, I started three years ago driving for Lyft and Uber, and I've been in the trenches. I know how you guys feel when you get a ride for like $3.25 or $4 or $5. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth the cost in it. Well, really, that ends. That ends with Ride Local because you get 100% of the fares. So just imagine if you got three bucks, you, the rider probably paid six or seven dollars, and Uber and Lyft got the rest. Well, that stops. That doesn't happen anymore. So your profitability is going to go up automatically because you're getting all the fares and all the tips.
where with other rideshare uh, platforms you don't get that and i'm looking for you everybody to tune in if you haven't if you haven't tuned in for our friday eight o'clock hit the subscribe button and that way we'll alert you right before it airs and that way you can tune on and be on if you have any questions gather your questions from now until then if you have questions just write it down and that way you don't have to just go by memory and then if you find out another one have a little tablet in your car and then ask you know put another question down and that way when you tune in on friday we can utilize the time and make it more profitable by being more efficient so if we can be efficient and people can ask questions and I can roll it out, I, I ask that no naysayers come on. People who aren't looking, uh, really looking to build their platform, I, I ask that you don't join the group and waste every, everybody else's time because time is valuable. That's the most best common, uh, thing we have in this world. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Tune in Friday, 8 o'clock on YouTube. If you don't know the link, I'll put the link in the description. And that way you can go ahead and just click that to get on it. You'll be notified. So hit the subscription button so you get notified about it. So it will remind you what's going on on Friday. The other thing I ask you to do, if you like this video and you're looking for to change your situation in if you're driving. If you're driving, you're sick and tired of driving, sick and tired of being ripped off. If you're just tired of that, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you know this is really what it's all about. So anyhow, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on your Friday and have a great evening. Thank you.